We got a little fight this weekend. We do. I, I'm actually look. I'm excited. I'm excited. And look, man, you know, for you and I, these uh, these uh, boxing devotees, we are very much. Uh, uh, this is this is a this is a great little fight. But let me say something that I don't know if you knew. Do you um, know for what we consider all the marbles? Now, of course, there's belts, you know, the four belt era, et cetera, et cetera, yep. et cetera. But we know when a guy's the man, he's the man. We don't want, we don't want, we don't wear about the belts. Do you know that this is for all the marbles, the marbles being, do you know this is for Ring Magazine at 130? Yes, this is, the, this is for the WBC featherweight title and the WBO super, right? Right, so, but super, I'm saying that's super featherweight, super featherweight. But, I, featherweight. but what I'm saying is that's two titles. But I'm saying once the ring gets involved, and says, yeah, they, no, they're gonna they're gonna crown they're gonna they're crown, gonna the winner crown of this, this guy. Th- guys, let me explain something to you. You guys see all these trinkets, right? The WBO, the IBF, the WBC, who we talked about earlier. Somehow, Suleki at number one because he's willing to pay this. The IBF. Look, look, look. That little ring magazine belt that you've been seeing for uh, how long has the, the magazine Rocky belt. been? Uh, over 100 years. 110 right. years, something like that. Little Rocky belt. But you're the man. That's it. You're lineal. You're the real guy. You're the real guy at that division. It's it'll the real be, deal. It'll be the first person to be lineal at 130 since... um. Jesus. Floyd, right? I think it's Floyd at 30, man, wow. which has got to be 20 years. Yeah. Was, was, what was, was uh, Castillo at 30 or 35? 35. That's why, like, I don't really criticize it that much. You know, that first fight, he was moving up. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. Anyway, we we th- th- we could deep dive into that one. But no, of so, course. I just wanted to, yo. This is for you. Th- this winner of this fight is the guy. At 30. That's it. I love it. I, th- that's what I'm saying. Are people not excited for this fight? By the way, guys, we're talking about Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez. Talk that's going to happen. This fight, baby. That's going to happen, happen Saturday. Um, ESPN Plus or ESPN? Is it ESPN or ESPN Plus? I don't even know. Let's see. Be smart if it was on ESPN, but well, let's see. I'm looking it up now. All right, uh, is promoter? They don't even have it on Box Rec. What it's on? Ish. Fucking the worst. Um, what do I think is going to happen? Yeah, talk to me. All right. Well, we got. A slick counter punching Southpaw and Shakur Stevenson. South and Southpaw. And we have Oscar Valdez, who I don't know. How do you classify Valdez? Valdez to me is a mauling swarmer. Um, how about we add this? A, a smart mauling swarmer. Right. He's going to give up three inches in height. There's no reckless abandon. It's, he's not like any soccer. No, he, he used to do that. Yeah, the Reynosos, I think, have reeled him in a little bit. Uh, he got his jaw broken a couple of years back. He won the fight, but he got he fought valiantly and got his jaw broken. Um, hmm. Talk to me. I think I think Valdez is going to try to set the pace with activity off the front foot. He's going to come after Shakur. He's going to try to take the fight to him. I'll absolutely agreed. And I think. We see a you're not a huge fan. You think he's overrated. Oh, well, well, I have a lot to say. Do you? Okay. Yeah. I think this is going to be a Shakur Stevenson coming out party. If the Jamel Herring fight wasn't, this will be it. And I think Shakur is going to move and counter him to death. I think there's going to be some rough patches because Valdez, that's just the way he fights. Um, but I think that Shakur is going to use movement, athleticism, and counterpunching to uh, to secure a pretty clear dominant decision. Well, through the history of knock him out the box, I said that um, Shakur Stevenson and Mick Conlon were two highly touted guys out of the amateurs then became too highly talented 
pros slash prospects slash whatever. And I said, I now, said cha- this, now champion. Now champion. I said this Mick Conlon, the first time he fights a real guy, is, is going to get beaten up. He did. Um, the first time I said, hmm, all right, about Shakur Stevenson was his lopsided beating of Herring. Mm-hmm. Um, I routinely said a guy like Orlando Salido, remember him? Mm-hmm. Stylistically, that's the style that would give a kid like Shakur Stevenson trouble, not because he isn't highly skilled, but because I got to see how he reacts to that type of pressure. And when I talk about that pressure, I'm not just talking about in your chest, I'm talking elbows, head butts, mm-hmm. low blows, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think, I do not think that Oscar Valdez is that guy. As much as we agree that he's aggressive and comes in and stops Burchell, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think, I think Shakur Stevenson's too good. I think his hands are too fast. I think his feet are too good. I think he puts on a clinic. I think it is, it will be his coming out party. Uh, he, the winner of this fight will enter my top 10. Mm-hmm. Um, almost has to being that you're the guy. Right. Um, according to the rules that we made up for ourselves, you know, <laughs> uh, um, I, I think he wins. Mm-hmm. I think he wins easily mm-hmm. and it doesn't change my stance. Mm. Um, I think Oscar Valdez is really solid I don't think he's special Um, I think that there's a guy out there guys plural possibly that will not play ball with this kid and he won't know how to deal with that Shakur Yes, and I think that regardless of his style, come forward, front foot, throw punches, trying to get you out of there. I think Shakur and, 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 and Valdez, I think Shakur deals with it with relative ease. I think he picks him up coming in. I think mm-hmm. he rolls out of there. I think he counters. Um, he seems a little bit to be getting his man strength. Um, yeah. You know, Valdez in my opinion, is cut from that cloth of Mexican warriors with a sturdy chin. So I, to talk about a knockout, nah, I don't know. You know, sometimes you batter a guy around enough and he's down on every, every card, uh, everyone's card. You know, it's the 10th yeah. round. The guy hasn't won a second of a round yet. He's busted up. Sometimes a guy will stop it. You know, it's not mm-hmm. typical of a Mexican fighter or trainers. Right. Would I be blown away if that happened? No. But uh, so let's get your prediction, B. Well, I thought I gave it. I said, I think Shakur. Hey, don't get smart. I, you just weren't listening. Don't get fresh. Don't get fresh. Well, I mean, maybe you should listen to your co-host once. I, I listen. No, you don't listen. You're just waiting to talk. You're not listening. You're just waiting to talk. It's <laughs> ridiculous. You're the one who talks the whole time. I can't get <laughs> yeah. a word. In. That's it. That's my plan. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I think that Shakur will be too athletic, too fast. And I think we see a, uh, a counterpunching fest. I think his feet are too good. Um, I will say this, and you pointed this out. I don't know how many. I think Shakur had a shitty outing a couple mm-hmm. fights back. Was it a shit boring outing? Yeah. You, you pointed out that you said he is taking two steps back and with his hands down. Um. And then trying to step back in with his hands down. If he does that against Valdez, Valdez moves very quickly going f- forward in a straight line. Okay. Valdez can close distance fast. Um, Valdez is a decorated amateur, not as decorated as Shakur, but he's a very decorated Mexican amateur. 
Um, I could, that's the only trouble I can see if Shakur creates, so to speak, trouble for himself, meaning if he loses some of his fundamentals, if he there's a lapse in judgment, I think that that could be exploited possibly by Valdez. If we see the Shakur that fought Jamel Herring, we don't see those mistakes. I think well, he'll be hyper-focused. I think he's now reached the level of maturity where you remain focused. Um, I think he also wants big paydays. I think he wants to entertain. Um, I, I, one thing that we do, and I, I want to be clear about the fact that we're aware that we do it. When we talk about what we may see as weaknesses, we're aware that these guys may be doing it in situations where they feel that they can get away with it. Right. So when I would, when I, when I said that about Stevenson, mm -hmm. I didn't see much or any of it against Herring. You know, I didn't, I, I didn't see it. That's why I said, if we see right. the Stevenson that so, we saw against Herring. It's why I'm not bringing it up because I think, like you said, if someone's focused, it's again, I know I'm throwing it back and it's, it's, it's months away. If it happens at all, I don't think you see a wild bud. Uh, I don't think you, th it, 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 against Spence. I mean, because I think, uh, um, look, man, I hate to keep bringing it up. It's an old trope, but some people fight or perform to the level of competition. Yeah. You can be, look, look at a basketball, uh, you know, a team, uh, a 60 win, 65 win basketball team that loses to a last place team because for whatever they reason, them they took them lightly. And this is, look, this is professional boxing. Oscar yeah. Valdez is no joke, man. You, no. you, you at all you're talking about amateur pedigree um a, a, a solid resume St uh starch perchelt who i don't know now it doesn't look as great it's yeah. a little, now now you got to think ah does that look as good etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera. but we we don't like to play those games because we don't want to play the games that people are playing with spence and ugas beat an old pacquiao and he stinks and da, da, da. no 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 Oscar Valdez is the real deal. You got two undefeated guys in their prime, in the beginnings of their prime, too. Not mm -hmm. two guys, not, not in the middle or towards the end. Two guys, you know, yeah. all high level stuff. It should be high level stuff. Even though, even though Valdez is aggressive, it's not reckless abandon. He puts stuff together, he puts punches together. Guys, what's nice I, about this fight is you're going to see two styles that sometimes when two styles are so similar they can be tons of fun right or if you have two guys that are primarily counter punchers it can be really horribly boring all right so you're going to see a clash of styles here on saturday that this can be a really fun fight and it's a real good way to like if you if you're into the into it like Vinny and i are you can say what kind of pick your favorite style which what you know what what works against who so I think it's going to be a fun fight. I think it's going to be a fight that uh, that's good for TV. I think it's going to be a fight that's good for the fans. Um, and again, I think Shakur wants to make a name for himself. He wants to be a household name. Um, so uh, I think course, he's going to I think he's going to look. I think he's going to look exceptionally fast comparatively. And when that happens, you look double fast. Right. You know, when you have Lomachenko and Gary Russell Jr., it's like, oh, they're both so fast. I, I, I think comparatively, he's going to look like the, the, the fastest guy in the sport. Right. Um, I, I, I think he's going to counter him, and I think he's going to be knocking his head back with the jab. A, 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 look, a nice straight jab. Um, his jab is to me reminiscent of Pernell Whitaker, mm -hmm. who is one of the best jabs ever. Um, mm -hmm. That ne nice. also never missed. I love Shakur's jab. This is coming from a guy who I don't think is as great as everyone says, you know. But that doesn't mean that I don't think he's really good, you know. Which right? Yeah. yeah. Is another another difficult thing on this podcast. Go, oh, you don't think he's a, no? I just don't think he's the like. The, right. The, I don't think he's Pernell Whitaker. I don't think he's Pernell Whitaker. The second right. coming. I love his jab. I think he's going to counter him. I think he's going to counter him with combinations. I and 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 and, and then and move out. Him, and then and move then, out. And make him reset. Yeah. I think you're going to see that frustration. I think there's going to be, um, I think it's going to be visible frustration, visible. Now, look, obviously when you're getting lit up by counters, you're frustrated, but some guys composure, et cetera, 
you can't figure that out. I think you're going to see visible frustration on the part of Oscar Valdez by coming in, looping shots, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, defensively responsible uh, Stevenson counters out of there. Boop, 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 three pieces, Mm -hmm. four pieces. Um, I think, I don't know if Herring was a coming out party uh, in terms of the boxing community. So, you know, for me and how I saw uh, Shakur, I felt like he was boring. He was not boring against no. Herring. He moved his hands. He battered him for, for you know, yeah. uh, for lack of a better word. He battered, he beat him from pillar to post. Right. Um, I think he's going to, look, I think it's it's a lopsided possible shutout. Um, <laughs> Uh, and uh, that's that's what ninety percent of my head. I, I'm I'm absolutely picking Shakur Stevenson to win. <laughs> I think there's I think there's a small possibility of a late corner stoppage, not because of destructive power or well, anything <sighs> like that. Just like you're down 10 you're starting to get busted up. You don't have a chance. Uh, right. Let's, I mean, let's fight another day. Yeah, that, I, the fight I was citing with Valdez was uh, Scott Quigg broke Valdez's jaw. Um, Valdez, I think, broke Scott Quigg's face as well. Yeah, um, it was rough. I think if any of that starts to happen, to your point, Vin, just want to piggyback on your idea. Um, I do think that, you know, the Reynosos will stop it. I think that they'll throw in the towel if Shakur hasn't hurt that badly. Um, wow. So, I look, guys. I know we're, we're Vinny and I are picking Shakur uh, heavy here, but I still think it's going to be a fun TV fight to watch. So I, it's, this is a highly recommended fight. Um, Guys, you can have fights where we feel strongly about the outcome and have it be a great, entertaining fight. Right. He's coming in, throwing the kitchen sink at this kid, and he's slipping and bam. It's going to be yeah. nice. It's going to be fun. I think, I, I think, I hope. Me too. Um, Me too. 